have sort of coined the phrase for myself that I work by referral, relationship, and reputation. And those are my three R pillars to being successful and selling nearly 100 homes a year in and dominating my market. And that's why I was calling this, uh, you know, be, be famous in your market, which is essentially what I've done with Hex Realty Group and wanted to share some of those tools and ways that I've done that with everyone here and then bringing Lee on because he's going to be, uh, he has a really awesome tool that I'm excited to get into, which is town sites. Have, has anyone heard of town sites? I saw the presentation in Cabo, which got me pretty excited. Yeah, a few people. Um, so I, I'm getting Pex Realty Group set up on that. And I think it's just really going to elevate the uh, the make me famous in my market and the, the reputation part of my three R's. Um, I believe that reputation leads to relationships and then those relationships lead to referrals. So just a little overview of... Uh, of what I've been able to do in my market and and why I feel like that is just the best way to do business is by referral relationship and reputation because they're they're comfortable conversations they're easy conversations they have the best conversion uh, when I look at my conversion rates I can say oh, Lee's saying he'll be here in 30 seconds. Let's keep an eye out, out for him to let him in. Um, but when I look at my conversion rates, I'm not looking at a uh, you know one or two percent conversion. Like how many conversations do I need to have to obtain a client? Usually, it's people calling me and saying, "Hey, are you taking on new business? Can we work with you?" Which is exactly where most real estate agents want to be and probably most people in any kind of a business is that they want to be positioned where people are asking them, can we do business with you instead of us asking for the business? So how, I, how I've done that uh, and how I got started was really because I was very active in my community. I was always gaining a presence in my community. I started doing that through Facebook, mostly. Uh, I was a, a young mom and didn't have a lot of time to be physically out there. So I said, well, how can I still be so present and so relevant without leaving the babies at home or without having to go all around town and do everything all the time and put a strain on my personal life and my relationships. So I got really active on Facebook groups and I got to know people. I was watching those Facebook groups to say, who are the influencers in my community that I can be in relationship with, whether it was the carpet cleaner that was always recommended or that mechanic that was always recommended or the, the nonprofit that people love to support or like the Lions Club or any of those uh, you know community advocate type of clubs. I got in relationship with those people and said, how can I elevate you and your business? How can I be recommending you? through Facebook and to my clients and how can I be supporting what you're doing even without having a constant physical presence. So that is what led to people saying, you know, you're the the queen of the town or whatever they want to call me with that, but it just led to having such a presence. I saw a, a statistic once that really resonated with me that uh, there was a, a neighborhood that they had pulled everyone in the neighborhood and said, who is the number one real estate agent in your neighborhood? And a lot of random names were mentioned. And so then this, this marketing company was testing and they started marketing this neighborhood consistently for a year with a certain real estate agent's name and face on all of the marketing, uh, just stuff that was dropping in mailboxes, voicemails, emails, things like that, signs around the neighborhood. No one ever saw this person. No one ever physically saw this person. Um, and a year later, they pulled the same neighborhood and said, who's the number one real estate agent in the neighborhood? And everyone was mentioning, you know, Joe Schmo, whoever it was. Here's the kicker. That was a fake person. <laughs> 
I don't know if this is real or not, but yeah, I totally you know what, believe it. Stephanie, yeah. I, that was Hobbs Herder that did that. Don okay. Hobbs, who's now at EXP, incidentally. Oh, okay, cool. I, You know, I heard that so many years ago, and I never remembered the backstory, but I always remember that story. It's like, this was... It was because they just saw the name and the face over and over when they said, who's the number one realtor in your neighborhood? It was that person. So um, Don, I'll have to get that. I'll have to find more about that backstory because I tell the story all the time. <laughs> you, should, uh, you should reach out to Don Hobbs. You can reach him through EXP Workplace. I will. Thank you. I'm writing that down. I, I tell, uh, him, I tell, I wait, tell that story wait. all the time. <laughs> When I coach agents on geographic farming, one of the things I say is that when you get that phone call that says, hey, Stephanie, we see your signs throughout the neighborhood. Would you come by and tell us what our home is worth? Mm -hmm. That's when you've arrived. Yes, absolutely. I think I actually told that story in a um, a panel that it was posted on Brent Gove's Instagram a while ago that I said exactly that, that once I started getting the call that said, I mean, I'm always saying, who can I thank for the referral? And when they say, I just see you everywhere, I said exactly that. That's where I said, I have arrived. I It was a mission accomplished for me to be able to say, you just see me everywhere. And Don makes fun of me all the time for the shopping cart. <laughs> I'm on the grocery store shopping carts, which I always thought was the dorkiest thing. And it's actually one of my more expensive marketing pieces outside of what I do for my sphere and my database. But that is how you get that. I see you everywhere. And I go on a listing appointment and then that person will later in the week say, my gosh, I you know, I met you because so-and-so recommended you, and then I couldn't stop seeing you. It's kind of that, uh, the the red Honda, you know, if you're thinking, I want to buy a red Honda, and then you see red Hondas everywhere. Um, so anyway, that's just a little backstory of how I got to where I am with my real estate business, and then hearing about town sites and what town sites does to put you in a position of authority in your community got me really excited. And I thought this is such a great way to fill one of those pillars for me of reputation in the community without a lot of effort on my part, which I love that too. So I'm going to turn it over to Lee. Welcome Lee with Town Sites and tell us, tell us what Town Sites does and um, show everyone else why I'm so excited yeah. about it. Yeah, well, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And I see that uh, Treva's on. Uh, she has. Uh, uh, I I don't think your sites are live yet, but I think they're coming online in the next couple of within the next couple of days. So we're excited, excited to have you part of our community. Awesome. And, uh, and Jackie says me too. Oh, good. Awesome. <laughs> That's and I great. Know that uh, uh, Tom Dave's he's in. Uh, Brent's office, and I know that Drew Johnson has about twenty town sites with Brent. Yeah, Cole, so, he's so, super excited. So yeah. we're we're glad to hear a lot more about it. Cool. Yeah, so we're right. excited. To be, uh, it's it's a great way to to be seen in your local community. So let me first tell you just the one minute about myself. Uh, twenty five year mortgage guy in two thousand and eight. Um, everyone knows what happened to the market. Uh, took lemons and turned it into lemonade. I started a little applet to help real estate agents negotiate short sales. It was a product called Short Sale Commander. I uh, launched it. We had agents all across the country use it. In about 2011, changed the name to Realty Commander, turned into a transaction management platform. Uh, it was very successful. And in 2016, Showing Time bought our company. And we had a, a offers portal that they really liked and they really wanted to use. And they're actually using that right now to uh, for transparency within the industry. And that was one of my focuses is always to be transparent, to always offer, you know, something that people, you know, level playing field. And uh, in, you know, about two, about two years ago. Oh, you use both. Awesome. Uh, I love it. 
Yeah, so uh, one of the downfalls of that software was I would see these credit card declines at $99 a month, and I would be like, you know, in the next company I start, I want to create something that is not a financial burden on the agent. And so when I created uh, Town Sites, I twisted it, I combined it with a BNI type uh, aspect. Uh, and Drew Johnson explains it the best. It's like networking, matches, community, uh, and it's influenced by AI. So I, I want you to be able to bring community partners on your town site, which is really the lifeblood of your business, referral business, and they pay to be on the site, which turns your sites into a profit center. So that's the number one goal is to is to turn your town sites into a profit center. And while that's while that happens, uh, all the articles that we're writing for you are all SEO optimized. You're starting to gain SEO ranking, uh, and we're going to write about everything in your community, like every restaurant, every business, and sooner or later those articles will start ranking. And our, it's our mission for our company to, to have at least 30% of all articles to rank within the first two pages of Google. Anytime I say Google, my phone starts uh, acting up because uh, they're, they're listening to us. huh? Uh, but uh, anyway, so, so yeah, so the whole goal is to, to be kind of spotlighted as a community leader and using the town site platform to make it happen. And, um, uh, what I want to do is to, to really explain all the details of the product. I'm going to play the seven minute video if that's okay. So, so let yes. me do that real quick. And then everyone will understand what all the excitement's all about right now. Town Sites is an AI platform for community leaders, real estate pros, and business professionals. Our mission is to help business professionals like you thrive in today's competitive market. We combine the power of multiple advanced Google ranking strategies, including Google My Business and Google LSA, authority building, time-saving relevant content creation, community engagement, and diversified income generation to provide a unique, comprehensive solution for your real estate business. In this in-depth demo, we are going to show you how town sites will help you boost your online visibility, enhance your digital presence, show up on Google search results, increase your Google My Business ranking, and be the talk of the town. Stand out from the crowd. Your exclusive territory ensures you're the only agent in your area, breaking local news and featuring local community businesses with ease. Save on time management and marketing costs. Our content creation services featuring our proprietary AI article writing tool will save you hours. Your time is money. Build your community. Town Sites is designed to help you build a loyal following in your local area. Execute community events with ease. Generate a profit center. Generate unlimited income from your community town site. Fuel your business and your partner relationships by bringing on community partners. Let's dive right in and explore the core elements of your town site. Your town site is a wealth of hyper-local information. On the left-hand side, you'll find SEO-optimized ghost-written articles that are relevant to your community. We provide two to three new articles every week, focusing on local topics your audience deeply cares about. Also, you will assist us in writing one additional industry-related article, which we will explain in detail later in this demo. Scrolling down, you'll discover upcoming local events and enticing deals nearby. Our bots automatically pull this information it's completely automated and updates daily. Now to the right side of your town site. Here you see any community video or reels that you wish to display. Here is an example of one of our townies interviewing a local business owner. As we keep scrolling, we reach your profile section. When you click on your image, you are taken to an SEO optimized landing page featuring you and your business. Below your profile, we prominently feature your Google business reviews and make it easy for clients and prospects to give you a review with the click of a mouse. As we continue down the page, this is where we feature your community partners who pay you monthly to be collaborators on your town site. Here's their profile. We also set up their landing page to display Google reviews and allow them to be reviewed. Your partners get their money's worth as they receive ghostwritten SEO optimized articles on their Google My Business and LinkedIn pages too.
Whether you use KV Core or another IDX platform, this integration populates your town site with current homes for sale, enhancing your real estate services. Have someone on your site curious about their home's value? No problem, our home valuation model instantly provides an estimate, complete with comparables, and an opportunity for the client to connect with you. Now let's look at your town site's backend dashboard. Navigate to the Content Articles section and select New Content Article to begin. Our AI will automatically generate and post content to the connected site, as you see in this preview. For this demo, we'll focus on the Topic Researcher. Our bots scrape the internet and pull topics of local interest based on what is happening in real time in the community. When you click on Topic Researcher, a list of current community topics will display. Let's select this topic, the Northville Chili Cook-Off. By clicking Generate Article, the system pulls information from the source, like the ticket site for the Chili Cook-Off seen here. You can choose the type of article, like a promotional piece, news report, or narrative, to best suit your needs, but the AI will automatically default to what it feels is the most appropriate for the type of article. Further customize your article with options for length, target audience, tone of voice, SEO keywords, and any specific instructions you wish to include. Once you hit Generate, the AI creates your article, which takes just a few minutes. Here's our Chili Cook-Off article. You can schedule it for publication from any or all the options here like Facebook, Google Business, Instagram, LinkedIn, X, or Twitter, and hit Publish to go live. And there you have it an AI-generated content article from start to finish, optimized for engagement and visibility. Use the interview tool to seamlessly write industry-related content to boost your Google My Business ranking. Just click, choose a preloaded topic, and talk. The microphone will pick up your voice and fill in the answers. Once finished answering the questions, the article will be written with you as the author and industry expert. Now let's discuss Townsite's digital newsletter. It's impeccably designed. The newsletter strategically combines all of our automated social posts and SEO ghostwritten content into a weekly stunning newsletter that's automatically crafted and published for you. Easily upload your database so your contacts see your weekly newsletter that requires no heavy lifting as it's on autopilot. Furthermore, you can manage contact with ease. Integrate your CRM through Zapier and customize email preferences. Our upcoming analytics dashboard will provide even more data and insight for you. Looking to enhance your video marketing at town sites, we've got you covered from narration style videos to full-blown interviews we offer guidance scripts and third-party editing support to make video creation a breeze. Now let's explore the Community Partners section. This feature is where town sites truly shine by inviting local professionals to join your town site. Not only can you offset the cost and create a profit center, but you also build a robust business-to-business -business network. Town sites handles the accounting and makes it effortless. We've taken the guesswork out of hosting community events with town sites events in a box. We provide turnkey solutions for neighborhood food trucks, family photo shoots, seminars, networking meetups, scavenger hunts, and trivia nights. For example, take our friends trivia night. We provide a step-by-step -step guide, a checklist, and direct links to ordering everything that you'll need for a successful event, including trivia questions and answers. Lastly, your town site settings option lets you connect your social media account seamlessly, your town site, and Facebook page will sync perfectly with your overall digital presence. That's a glimpse into the power of town sites, the ultimate platform for community leaders and real estate pros. This is your gateway to becoming the go-to authority in your local market, all while generating revenue through community partnerships. Are you ready to reinvent your online identity and prepared to create lasting community connections? If yes, it's time to embark on your journey with town sites today. All right. What do y'all think about that?
yes, I'm getting some thumbs up. Impressive. I'll let Lee talk more about it. But one one thing that I loved is if someone, let's say there's a new taco place in my community and someone searching, you know, that new taco place in Oregon City, where can that direct them to, Lee? Well, when somebody does a Google search, yeah, we write the articles with a number of backlinks that eventually that article will show up when when someone else is searching it, that'll show up in on Google. And our like I said earlier, our goal is to have 30% of every one of our articles that we write to show up in the in the first page is ultimately our goal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that that takes a little bit of time. That takes a, you know a few months for all that stuff to happen. Uh, and that's why, well, all that's kind of marinating and the articles are being written. We want you to offset the cost of your town site and turn it into a profit center by adding the community partners. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, like can our, you our, go ahead? No, can you tell the story about um, the the agent at at the hairdresser getting her hair done and yeah, actually, she promoted so, that business. Uh, yeah, tell us about that. Yeah, so she just did a little reel when she went in to get her hair done. Uh, she asked the owner, say, I'm just going to, I want to do a little reel. And so she posted it on her town site and went through a digital newsletter. And then she got a text message a couple of days later, about a week later, saying that, hey, I someone in the chair next to the owner was saying, I heard about this through the video I saw through the town sites. So, so, and it didn't like, it didn't really... I mean, organically, it gave them business. And then now, Julie, the agent, is going to go back and and add that hair salon as a community partner. Mm -hmm. And so what? uh, let me tell one other story, which is amazing. So we have a partner in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And he, I guess, like, winner of, do you guys follow The Voice, the TV show The Voice? Mm -hmm. So the guy that won The Voice lives in Fredericksburg. So he wrote an article of, about the guy that won the voice and the guy responded and then tied it in with the local VFW hall that uh, can seat up to 700 people. And um, he's doing a big uh, concert for, uh, for that guy. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. And then there's going to be 700 people and just a ton of reach. Uh, Dwight, you had a question. Uh, What's the economic model? So uh, you're talking like, like what's the cost, et cetera? Yeah, it sounds like, I mean, I'm I'm guessing there's a cost to the agent and then you want them to sell the advertising to yeah. get that yeah, return. Absolutely. So how, do, how does someone normally do that? Yeah, so it's a, it's a $6.95 setup fee and then it's $4.95 a month. Uh, and then to bring on a community partner, it's $199 a month for a community partner. And you saw all the things we do for the town site main part, main partner. But with the community partners, we're gonna they're gonna have access to, to the interviewer tool. And so they'll be able to write their own industry specific articles. We're gonna set up their Google My Business and optimize that. We're gonna give them their landing page. So we're gonna give the partners a ton of value for the $199 a month. And so we do a big push when you sign up uh, to be one of our, we call them townies. So when, you, when you're when you a townie, uh, uh, it's uh, three and 30. So it's a big push to bring out three community partners in the first 30 days. And then you've actually monetized your town site. Uh, and Drew and some of the guys have taken this, you know, you know Drew's close to, to Brent and you know how Brent thinks. So he's got, he's, adding 10 partners to every site. And, you know, last month we had to write them a check for $6,000 because whatever the surplus is, you get to keep. So it's a, it's a profit center for you if you choose to do that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if I get three partners in 30 days, my site is paid for. Correct. And then we have, and I have better relationships with those partners. And when someone's looking for that business, they're finding me at the same time. Correct. 
And we we have two phrases that we've coined. It's three and 30. To, and then the second phrase is your town site 12. So the goal is within a year to bring on 12 community partners in 12 different professions and and really rely on receiving one transaction a year from each one of those partners. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 one of the goals of the networking aspect of town sites. Yeah, what a great way to stay top of mind with your partners too. Yep. And then yeah. when, when articles are written, they'll be featured, their logos will be on the bottom of some of the articles as well. So with their links. So everything, there's a ton of links going on uh, for SEO rate purposes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Um, is there any other kind of, and I don't know, I just came up with this idea, any other kind of like referral program or anything if, you know, an agent recommends another agent and brings them into the platform? We also, haven't launched that yet. Agent attraction, if you could touch on that as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so the agent attraction piece is, so we have a, a, we have a husband and wife in uh, Rochester, Minnesota. And what they did is they put all of, uh, they put all of the real estate agents in their community to receive their digital newsletter. And they're using it as a, as a recruiting tool. Uh, and it's also a recruiting tool like uh, Casey Council, uh, Rosie Rodriguez, they've bought multiple sites that they're handing off to individual agents uh, on their team. And what we've done, because we, with EXP in mind, we do, whoever signs up for the town site is the primary license holder. And then if you assigned it to another agent uh, on your team, they would be the sub-license holder. So if they were ever to leave, then you you could claim that site back, and we we wrote that, you know, with EXP and with like national lenders in mind that might want to buy multiple sites and hand them off to agents. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Anna Maria. Then, uh, Good morning. <clears throat> so I've had one of the zip codes for a couple of months now, and I'm I'm wondering, is there a way to track? Uh, the progress or see, okay, this is where I was when I started. This is how the traffic increased. Yeah. So you, uh, when did, when did your site launch? Um, close to two months now. Okay. And then were you, uh, were you in Arizona? No, I'm in uh, Hawaii. Okay. Okay. I um, work, I've been working with Maddie. She's been helping me. She's been pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, well, we are launching, like in the video, you saw that the dashboard, the uh, analytics dashboard, that is being launched in the next couple of weeks. So you'll visibly, visibly, visibly be able to see like all of the results of the clicks and opens. Now, have you gone ahead and, and uh, have you uploaded all of your uh, contacts to the digital newsletter? Have you done any of that? That doesn't sound familiar now. Okay. I mean, so, I've done the setup, but uh, okay. is there something after it? Yeah. So what what we're probably going to want to do is is I'm going to have Maddie reach out to you to set up a meeting. So we need to get all of your the emails uh, into the emailer so we can so all the content gets sent out to your database. Oh, cool. Okay. I sent her an email to request a meeting for next week. So okay, great. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Awesome. Lee, did, did you have anything else? Or I wanted to just kind of recap the the opportunities here. Yeah. So I'm going to put in the link. to. I, I saw that a couple of people have already checked the availability of their communities. I'm going to put the link in the chat where you guys can check. Awesome. And then... Uh, I'm going to give the, the word Cabo. We still have that live for a couple more days. So Cabo in all caps, if you use that, it'll knock $100 off the setup fee. Sweet. Thanks for extending that to us. Yeah, and then I'm also going to put my, let me put my link. So if somebody wants to set a private meeting with me, they can do that. Perfect. Put that in the chat as well. 
Great. Thank you. Well, so I see so many layers of opportunity. I kind of, I'm just recapping all of it in my mind. So let me know what I miss here. I mean, we've got opportunity for that, like I mentioned, referral relationship reputation. So this this serves that reputation piece in your community. You've got opportunity to be reaching your database as a community leader with things that they want to know about that are happening in your community, not just what's my home worth or uh, you know what are interest rates doing, because we're all looking for ways to reach our database in, in ways that are important and relevant to them. Yep. Today, we've got the opportunity to be um, elevating our collaboration with our community partners that then result in, I mean, you're saying one transaction per partner. I would think more with the right partners. If I'm looking at every every community partner relationship that I have, if that could equate to four transactions a year, and if I got 12 partners, I mean, that that would exceed a lot of people's businesses in the whole year that they're doing currently. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got the, uh, the opportunity with like what I liked, you know, somebody's searching the new taco place in Oregon city, not only is the taco place showing up, but it's my review of the taco place, my promotion of the taco place. So it's getting my name in front of people when they're not even searching real estate to stay top of mind. And that'll drive them right back to your site. And then they'll see the articles that you've written and they'll see all the stuff that you've done, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with your community. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I can tell a, a quick story because I just, before getting on this meeting, got that text and said, Hey, Stephanie, we choose you. You're our realtor. Uh, knowing that I was competing with a couple of other agents for this listing in my town she found me because of my reputation around the community. I don't know this person, but it was another, I see you everywhere. I see you on social media all the time. Um, and she came to me and I had the opportunity to then, I learned about her business during that listing appointment. And I actually was able to refer someone to her sit from Thursday last week to today, refer someone to her business and today it was, I mean, it, that made it the obvious choice that she wanted to work with me and choose me as her agent. So I mean, those kinds of things that we can be elevating people and show that we are advocates for our community and for local businesses, they're just going to um, not only bring us new business, but solidify our relationships and make it that we're the obvious choice when clients are interviewing us. That's awesome. Stephanie, I'm, I'm going to come have you work for the company. For the size. <laughs> I don't need another job. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, any anything else to add or anything that anyone else wants to ask or comment on? How do you see this being useful in your business? Seems like an exciting program. Thanks, Don. It, it is. We're really excited about it. It's been a couple of years in the works. And uh, I'm really excited about how it's turned out. And uh, in June, we're launching Townsite Avatar, which is going to be the uh, look-alike, sound-alike uh, clone of all of our Townsites partners. And uh, what what we're going to do is we're going to take the script, turn it into a, we're going to take the articles, turn it into a script, and then do short videos with B-roll that'll be all automatically posted to all of your platforms. So really excited about that. Um, a lot of things we're going to have a complete Facebook integration so we can retarget and remarket your database so they'll see all of your articles instantly. Uh, a lot of exciting things. In the That's works. super cool. Brent is asking, how do we find individual town sites? I'm guessing, um, I actually was wondering this too. Do you have some, some model citizens within your program right now that we can sort of stock and yeah, see what uh, their sites look like? Uh, let me, uh, let's see here. Uh, let me, uh, let me find a couple links and I will put them in the chat. So <laughs> why don't you, um, if you send them to Megan, mm -hmm. so that's Megan, uh, M-E-A-G-A-N at ProInsight 
Com, she will put it into our Atomic Habits Facebook page. Perfect. Yeah, maybe add this to the comment section on this post so that we can Perfect. find those. Because I'm glad that Brent asked that because I was going to ask that too. I'd like to see what kind of content other people are putting out so I can look for some yeah. ideas. <laughs> yeah, and then you have the creative ability to decide like exactly how you want your town site to look. But we do like... Uh, Typically, it's a community. It's an it's an enhanced photo of the community, uh, and then they're they're very attractive sites. And so, uh, really excited about how the products turned out and what we're working on in the future. Yeah, cool. Well, thank, thank you, you, Lee, for bringing this to us. Um, if anyone else has any other questions, raise your hand now. This is our opportunity. <laughs> but I know Lee has been so easy to communicate with and get a hold of, and have an appointment with. And so there's plenty of opportunity to talk more with him. I know you'll be at several of the build events. Yes. Uh, let me share my calendar here. I'm going to be, I'll be at, well, I'm going to be at the Boston Regional Rally, Georgia Regional Rally, Cincinnati Rally, Detroit Rally, Vegas, LA, Seattle on the 25th, and then mm -hmm. build EXP Con in Toronto. And then uh, in July, the build on the 8th of July, the 25th in L.A., build Oregon. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have a uh, my, right. uh, my wife's going to divorce me because I'm not going to be home. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. You're a busy so guy promoting busy, this. Busy schedule. And we're trying to really keep it within the EXP family. We're trying to do our best. We do have a couple of the other companies like like. Uh, I'm not going to mention their names, but they're they're really working hard to try to get a deal with us. But uh, I re I really want to do my best to keep it within the EXP family for as long as possible. Awesome. So I see that Brent has a lot of questions. Brent, uh, schedule an appointment with Lee. Sounds like you've got some good questions and want to dig more into this. Uh, so let's wrap up. Tom, what do we have coming up? Anything that we want to let the group know about to be watching for in the coming weeks? Well, one of my favorite sayings, it, well, first of all, thank you, Stephanie. That was amazing. And Lee, thank you so much. Um, one of my favorite sayings is, if you don't list, you don't last. You have to list to last. And so now, ever so more important with our changing climate in real estate, it's key to secure the listings. If you secure the inventory, you secure the market. Do you know how many hours it takes on average to work with a buyer? Well, I'll tell you, it's 38 on average. Do you know how many hours it takes on average with a listing? Well, I'll tell you, it's on average about 19. So why not cut your time in half? So um, next week, we have a special guest, how to secure 10 listings in 30 days without spending any money. So We'll send the info, we'll send the invite next week, Atomic Habits right here, and invite others. This is a great opportunity to share the love with others, whether they're with in your organization, whether they're at EXP or whether, whether they're with any other company. Uh, this is definitely a meeting that you're not going to want to miss. So thanks, y'all. Now you got your inspiration. Time to put in the perspiration. Thanks again. Have a good awesome. week. See you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.